What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke and we just got our 8th gym badge and now we have to head to like the train station. Um, as you can see the team has been updated with adding on a Colossal. I went and I went to Lake of Outrage and my wild, well my third one I'll say because the first encounter was a Sandaconda but I have its pre-evolution so I can't catch that one. Uh, and then it was a Corviknight. I've already had a Corviknight. So on the third encounter, luckily, I got something new, which was a Colossal. And I don't believe I caught any of the other forms for Colossal's pre-evolutions. And I gave it an Iron Ball so that way we can hit flying types with ground type moves just in case someone does like a switch out. I don't know why I really put that on this guy now that I think about it. <laughs> Probably would have been better to have that on a Tank Buster. <laughs> but... Oh, well, uh, I'll probably end up changing that item to something else. I just was like, you know what? Like, if I really needed to, maybe if I go up against, like, a Pelipper or something, like, it'll be coming, it'll come in clutch if I want to, like, avoid a move because it'll move uh, faster than, move faster than Fire Pit. So, we have Fire Pit, Bougie Queen, Emil, Jack Frost, Shimmy Sham, and Nikki. Alrighty, make our way to Wind Dawn. So that means we can catch uh, a new Pokemon, actually. Ice Pokemon. Yeah, I already have a Jack Frost, but does that mean I get to find someone else? I don't even know what Pokemon I would potentially go for. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, we have Mr. Rhyme here. <laughs> or Mr. Mime, like Galarian Mr. Mime, and then... Uh... I guess I'll start off with Emil, just... Oh, man. There we go. Oh... Uh... A Vanillish. Okay. I honestly, I think I would like a Vanillish on the team more than I would want a Frost Moth. So let's see. Can you take that hit? Oh, that was a critical too. Okay, that did more than I wanted it to do. Uh... Switch over to to Nikki now. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna swap out Jack Frost now for uh for this Vanillish. Maybe I should start an awkward ring though, just in case. And I think uproar gets stronger like each turn. Yeah, calm down over there. I feel like this one's going to be a pain to catch. Oh no, wow. Okay. Okay.
And since it's at a higher level, I will be swapping it out with uh, Jack Frost, actually. Uh, uh, let's call you Sprinkles because you're technically like an ice cream cone. Add to the party. Swap you out with Jack Frost. Yeah, we're going to take that item. All right, guys, let's check out Sprinkles. Snow Cloak boosts evasiveness and hailstorms. Acid armor. Oh, okay. And then you have a bold nature on you. Okay, okay. Uh, I guess now I'm trying to figure out what item I want to have it hold. An icy rock, but you don't know hail. Focus Ash would probably be good. Oh man, okay, yeah. So I don't know what to teach it, but I also know I don't want Mirror Coat on it either. I guess we'll learn Icy Wind. We're just gonna, we're just gonna heal everybody up. It's funny because we're like, we're on like the, as soon as we get on the new route, like we already need to heal up after catching sprinkles. Uh, I guess I'll, I think I'll lead the, lead the march with Bougie Queen. I'm assuming everybody's going to have ice types up here. I, I'm doing that assumption, even though I played through the game, I don't even remember what these trainers had. Gardevoir. Okay, not what I really wanted. Uh, depending on who outspeeds the other one, I think will be a matter of who takes out who first. Ooh, and we got the poison. And then I got Assault Vest on Bougie Queen. Uh, just, why did you use Draining Kiss and not just... I don't know, I feel like it would have been smarter to just use draining or use a psychic move. You don't you tell me your God of War doesn't have a psychic move? Well now I know uh I was wrong for that thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking that like no matter which way you went on the left side or the right side of this guy, he was gonna see you. A Steelix. Okay. Just a hella Pokemon I'm not expecting. I wish I had Flamethrower. A Flamethrower would have been nice. Oh, it did the job. Yeah, I don't care for Venom Drench, uh, switch you out. This tanky beast. Bye bye.
Well, what level are you? Because this might be some good EXP because it gets the times four uh, weakness for fire moves. 55. Yeah, we're going to incinerate you. I know Vanillish has like one more form. I'm just wondering uh, what what the evolution level is. But that's like the benefit of switching out Snow for uh, for sprinkles. Uh, my favorite ice Pokemon. Wow, and you withstood that really well. I don't know, maybe I read that wrong. I think he said sending out a clay doll. Now I think about it, I could have either sent out a Shimmy Sham or I could have sent out a Mill to handle his clay doll. It's funny because I don't like having like multiple typings of Pokemon on the same team, but I have like two fire, two water, two poison. <laughs> I just feel like that's great. Like everything that I strive not to have on my team is basically like my team composition. Cabby Jeffrey. Corbinite. I guess it's good that I started off with... Uh, Bougie Queen. We haven't seen Bougie Queen in action like that much throughout the playthrough uh, ever since uh, Neo died. But Corviknight is tanky, so yeah, I knew he was going to be able to survive that. But I have the Assault Vest on, so we can also take uh, handle a little bit more damage, too, for Bougie Queen's like frailness. Flygon, Sprinkles, it's your turn. And you got higher evasiveness, too. So evasiveness, and then I think, uh, I think being in the hail also will increase the amount of damage the ice move does. Yeah, I was like, please don't take out. <laughs> Dragon and ground. Yeah, that's a times four. And I think we're about to evolve sprinkles too. Yep, there we go. And funny enough, I've always wanted to use... Uh, what was it? I've always wanted... Use a Vanillux, but just, just that single typing on it always kind of made me hesitate towards using it. But it just makes it more ironic that I get to use it in my Nuzlocke playthrough, even though, you know, I wasn't expecting to get Sprinkles. Doing all these battles too, just because we need all the EXP we can get for the Pokemon League battle coming up. And everything else to come too. Mm. 
Yep, I, how did I know it was a drizzle, Pelipper? I'm just really hoping this was the right decision. Up, sets up the speed boost for his team. Yeah, okay, because I was like, I think we can still outspeed his Pelipper. Noctowl. That's that's who you send out as a Noctowl? I mean, I guess if, if that's really what you want to do. Time to see Fire Pit do a battle for once. Oh wow, <laughs> really got that, and you got the hypnosis. Okay, this was not the, the best time to showcase fire pit apparently. Maybe I should have sent out Nikki, now that I think about it. I totally forgot I have discharge on Nikki. Yeah, I was like, it's going to go back to Halen, right? <laughs> you really going to sleep through every turn, bro? It's all because of that flinch, that first flinch that it got off. And then you flinch again. Oh my god, this is like the worst... <laughs> the worst like debut battle for one of my Pokemon okay we're doing a switch out because now you're just now you guys are just trolling with this you're really just gonna have it slowly but surely take out fire pit <laughs> I should have just sent out sprinkles Because that took longer than it needed to. Uh, no lie, I was kind of hoping I would have ran into like a... Uh, a weevil. Oh, I got the the PP up so I can use that on use that on Shimmy Sham's Hydro Pump. Even though it's just going up by like one, <laughs> I think. I think it goes up by just one. Okay. Uh, we will just switch to this guy.
I don't know why I thought. Okay, fire pit's not that, it's not doing too hot out here. I don't know why I was thinking that uh, because of the rock typing, it would have just like made it cancel out the super effectiveness, but apparently it didn't. <laughs> I don't want to take a chance on missing with hydro pump, so I'm like, let's just giga drain it. <laughs> I just noticed like the rocks on its bodies change color uh, during during that stealth rock. And it's funny because like. I remember in the beginning I hated the fact that I had a Lombre <laughs> and that I caught a Lombre because I think I lost one of my Pokemon that I didn't want to lose uh, because of Lombre. So, I don't know, I find it funny that like Shimmy Sham is now like the MVP of the team coming through and that's basically like what I'm fighting everybody with. <laughs> I do want to write Furrier. Now that I think about it, um, when I create like a, a ground or rock mono team, a right figure is definitely going on it. I don't know if I want to do like a bulky, a bulky physical sweep or if I just want to make it a, a tank in general. But I also would want like, uh, probably lightning rod on it. I think lightning rod would be pretty good to have on that right for you. I have to look at like its other abilities that it has but I think that would come in pretty clutch for us uh, whenever I do like battle tar. I might end up recording uh, monotype battles uh, theme battles for like the master tier uh, battle tower for like its doubles and stuff I went through with my poison team so I might re-record going through there and just upload it on the channel. I think you guys would like that just to see like what it's like using the monotype teams uh, or all of them in general for Battle Tower Master Tier. And it's funny because uh, I believe I did end up going Lynx is fighting type and uh, we don't have any flying type moves. We'll just leave Bougie Queen out there. We can get Sludge Bomb, hopefully. Uh, we end up poisoning. No retreat. I don't know why the first time I saw that move, I got, I was scared of that. Like, that was definitely a scary, a real scary thing to just see a Pokemon do. <laughs> Grappalock. Yep, again, we don't... That's our problem. We also don't have anything to deal with, like, fighting types. I don't have a psychic move or a flying type move. Uh, you can bulk up. That's not going to help you out at all. Slowly but surely we gain in those levels how we need to. Uh, this one's going to be a double battle, but I don't want Nikki out there for sure. Oops. Did not mean to even do that. Uh, yeah, I think I want to have a meal out there. Two poison type Pokemon out there will... Kind of increase our chances of poisoning somebody. Unless these guys are using like a steel type, then that just means Bougie Queen's going to be the main one out there putting in work for the squad. Oh, we got electric. 
So, what I'm planning to do is, uh, yeah, we'll use incinerate, and then I will cross poison. No, night slash, just because of the fact that we get a higher chance of critting with scope lens. Really wanted to take out Bougie Queen on that one, I see. <laughs> I wish my Drapion was faster. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about that Noivern Zap Cannon. And he would get that Paralysis too. They always stay giving them like the status effects. In my opinion, at least. Hurricane. I'm glad, uh, someone avoided the attack. Honestly, this one's like a hard decision on, do I just like heal someone up? I think uh, I think Emil's bulky enough. I don't know if he'll be able to take both hits, but he can take one. At least that'll that'll take the attention off of. Nope. Wow. Oh man. Thought he was bulky enough. I need to look at speed right now. Because <laughs> if you're 138... The best bet is probably going to be to put Nikki in. Yeah. See, because I'm thinking, use that, then bubble beam? <laughs> How did I know it was going to avoid? That was what I was worried about. I was worried about uh, it missing on that, on that tug of tomorrow. I think that's the name of it. It's crazy because I want I really wanted a mill on the team. I'm doing like a horrible job keeping everybody alive <laughs> with these past couple of episodes. See why is it avoiding it though? That's what I that's what I don't get.
and then we made it to the top is there more trainers okay yeah we finally made it guys uh sadly after losing a mill we finally made it to wind on and now i have to find another <laughs> another pokemon to switch on the team instead which I'm thinking it's going to be a psychic type since this just opens up uh, a chance for me to have a psychic Pokemon on the team. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. If you haven't joined the Discord channel that's also been made, uh, you guys can join it. The link is in the description. Friends, fans, all that are welcome. You can talk about any game. It doesn't have to be Pokemon related. But guys, with that said, stay sharp. Later.